Data security refers to the process of protecting data from unauthorized access and data corruption throughout its life cycle. Data security includes data encryption, hashing, tokenization, and key management practices that protect data across all applications and platforms. To secure your data, GCP provides encryption for it, with few small exceptions. This implies that your data is automatically encrypted using fully managed and frequently rotated keys when it is stored on a GCP virtual disk within a GCP product or in cloud storage. And if you don't completely trust Google to handle this for you, you can opt to provide your own encryption keys. Even better, data is always being encrypted when it's being transmitted from one GCP endpoint to another. This minimizes the possibility of data in transit being spied on by a third party. Even if they managed to decrypt it, say by hacking into a VM in your project, all they would see would be random zeros and ones because they lacked the decryption keys needed to interpret it in any way. Google Cloud's key management service, often known as KMS, can be used if you do decide to utilize your own keys. This is a service that helps enable the creation and management of encryption keys in the cloud using a variety of cryptographic formats that are accepted as industry standards. The KMS API can be used to encrypt any type of data, or keys can be collected into keyrings and utilized to provide storage encryption for a variety of GCP services. Through Cloud IAM, KMS may get policies for key rotation and have complete control over who has access to keys and key rings. It takes a lot of effort to reduce the blast radius when we consider data security. It is for this reason that we apply the least privilege concept to our services and applications. Finally, the Security Command Center is an excellent GCP feature to get acquainted with. This is a component of the GCP console a system that unifies several security services. It offers some best security tips. The first one is asset discovery and inventory. You can review your project inventory, including checks for sensitive data and access rights. Then you have threat prevention. You can detect common vulnerabilities in web applications running on App Engine or Compute Engine, so on and so forth. Then comes threat detection. You can detect potential changes in external behavior that may indicate a security compromise. And lastly, we have anomaly detection. You can detect potential changes in internal behavior that may indicate that your security has been compromised.